right, these are really two awesome pedals. On the left, we have the OD Glove, and on the right, we have the Obsessive Overdrive from Moski. And you can tell that the Obsessive has is a little OCD-ish in look and functionality. Um, I don't have an OCD here to compare to, but I do have a pretty good three-knob overdrive um, from our Electro Harmonics, the OD Glove. So I think they're pretty comparable in tone. And, uh, and even in price point, I think the Obsessive is maybe like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. And the OD Glove is around 60 used, 60 or 70, depending on if you get it brand new or not. So both pretty small, uh, both below 100 bucks or even 75 bucks of that matter. Um, so no matter which one you have, uh, you're going to get great tones out of out of both pedals. So let's go ahead and check out uh, the pedals with the gain, uh, as with the uh, OD Glove says, and the drive, which is what the Obsessive Overdrive says. Um, those knobs are all the way down. So let's just see how it compares to the uh, to the clean tone. <laughs> Here's the glove. I think with the gain all the way down, the tone gets a little dark. So. All right. Let's check out the obsessive. So first off, I think the Obsessive has just a little more gain on tap, especially in the first gain stage. But you know, that's just, we're just comparing pedals. So it's really not a big deal. You're gonna adjust the gain per your situation anyway. So um, let's go ahead and crank it up to nine o'clock here on both pedals. And then we'll make sure we, uh, we match the gain and tone on both sides. Here's the Obsessive with the gain at nine o'clock. All right, pretty cool stuff. great tones um i am not a huge fan of just cranking gain just to crank it because when you get into a band context uh all that gain just kind of muddies up the overall sound and your guitar tone really doesn't cut through as much um so i try to keep my gain around 9 to 12 o'clock depending on if it's medium gain or high gain so uh yeah 12 o'clock is high gain for me um, but let's just go ahead and kick it up to, let's just go at 12 o'clock on the gain knob here. Uh, still keeping the tone relatively around, uh, around noon. Um, the tone control on the OD glove is more of like a high, like a high pass roll off. Um, so if I rolled this all the way up, I'd be getting the most high end I could which is really too much for the clean tone that we have on the amp. So, um, so I'm gonna keep it there for now and just uh, tweak it as we go along here. So here's the OD glove at 12 o'clock. And when you turn up the gain, you need to turn down your overall volume. So that way it kind of still matches your, uh, your clean tone there. All right, here's the obsessive drive knob at 12 o'clock. We're not as loud as the OD glove, so let's turn that up there. Thank you. 
stinking great tones from both of these pedals uh, let's go ahead and look at the tone knob um with the low pass i want to say low pass i don't know if it's low power or if it's low pass filter high pass filter i'm not quite sure um i probably should have read the manual before i started making this video but um let's turn the tone knob all the way up all right so already that is way too bright all right, let's turn it all the way down, see what that does. Switch on the uh, high pass. That's already way uh it's way broader at this level than it was on the lp i think <laughs> So whatever this little switch is doing, um, whether you have it up or down, you can still get fairly mellow tones or bright tones, just depending on where you have the, the tone knob. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the, the shift on the, uh, the, there's a shift switch on the OD glove. Um, so this is with the tone all the way up. <laughs> With the shift, uh, the switch on. To me, that adds a more of a nasal quality to the tone, which can be good if you're going for that high mid-range kind of cut. Um, let's go ahead and roll the tone knob down. off so you kind of smooths out the mid-range a little bit so here's with it on and with it off so that's really cool um i kind of like it right there shift on cool um let's turn the drive down on the Moski, and then let's see how this pedal sounds into the od glove <laughs> Let's turn the shift on off on this one. So with the shift off on the OD glove, it gives a more of a neutral sound, which can be more what you want if you're if you already have a pedal that has more of a mid-range hump, and you're going into the OD glove. Um, you're kind of doing the same thing as having the shift on or off. Um, by kicking in the other pedal. So, okay. So even there, there's, you got your medium to high gain tone. You can kick it up a notch with the obsessive, right? Or it can get like a nice low, low gain tone with this. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I hope you enjoyed that comparison video between the OD Glove and the Obsessive Overdrive. Uh, two great pedals, like I said before, within the price point that they're given in. You really can't go wrong with either one. If you are uh, if you need to save some space on your board, uh, definitely go with the Mosky, just because it's a little bit smaller. Can't go wrong with either one. And uh, if you want to, definitely check out the description below and there are affiliate links that you can click on to go to Amazon and you can read up on other people's reviews of these pedals and even purchase it yourself if you choose to do so. I do get a little bit of a kickback from that just to help me out making these videos and getting more gear to review and demo for you guys. So I am Dr. McFarland and we'll see you later.